stops a lot of these common scams. Like there's one scam going around where someone will pretend to be the CEO of the company and email the treasurer asking for money. And then the treasurer will just send money or the CFO will just send money. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. Let's talk about DMARC. If you send emails or you're plugged into the email space, you might have heard a little bit about DMARC. And if this is new to you, awesome. So in today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about DMARC, what it is, and how you can implement it into your cold email campaigns. So let's jump into it. DMARC stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. And basically what it does is it makes it easier for internet service providers to identify if somebody's trying to send an email under your name that doesn't have the ability to send, so phishing messages. It stops people from impersonating you online. And the reason why it's important is all the major ISPs have now implemented what's called a DMARC check. And so if your messages come through and they don't have a correct DMARC, they might be sent directly to spam, depending on whatever the rules are that the person decides to set. So what DMARC does is if it gets a message that either doesn't have SPF or DKIM on it, it can choose what to do. So senders can either have those domains sent directly to junk or block them altogether. Now what this means is if you're sending to your email list and you don't have DKIM set up, your blasts to your email list might go directly to spam because your DKIM isn't set up correctly. Similar with cold emails. If you're sending via a cold email sending tool and your DKIM is not set up correctly, your emails might be showing as spoof emails and it might seem like you don't have permission to send from your own domain and those messages might get immediately deleted. What are some other benefits of DMARC? Well, one, it stops other companies from sending messages under your domain, which from a cold email point of view, what I've actually seen is it improves your sending reputation. So if you have a DMARC score, you're less likely to get into spam in general. So it's worth sending, especially if you're having spam issues, it's worth setting this up. And that's the most important benefit from our point of view. You don't wanna end up in spam, so it's better to set up a DMARC. However, it also helps email in general become more trustworthy. It removes phishing emails and it stops a lot of these common scams. Like there's one scam going around where someone will pretend to be the CEO of the company and email the treasurer asking for money. And then the treasurer will just send money or the CFO will just send money. This prevents that. So let's set up a DMARC. I'll show you how to do it in G Suite because that's what I use. You create a DMARC policy by editing the TXT of your domain. So let's use G Suite and I'll show you how to do that. Now there's one decision you have to make. DMARC is about handling suspicious emails. So we have to decide how are we gonna handle them? And Google gives us three options. One is take no action on the message and log it in a daily report. Second thing you can do is mark the message as spam, which will allow Gmail to automatically put emails that don't have the DMARC into the spam folder. And the third thing you can do is tell the receiving server not to reject the message. I don't wanna encourage more emails going to spam and I don't wanna reject the message for right now. So I'm gonna go with rule number one for our DMARC that I'm setting up here, but you can pick anyone and I'm gonna show you all of them. I'll show you this too. Google has a step-by-step -step article for how to turn on DMARC and it has the exact TXT record contents. So you can copy and paste them. Take no action on messages that fail the DMARC check. Put this. Put 5% of the messages that fail the DMARC check into spam folders. Reject 100% of the messages. Put that in there. We manage our domains through Google Domains. So let's go over to Google Domains and set this up. So we'll just pick one, mobilechat.io. Go to the DNS. First, you wanna add a DNS record at DMARC. So you get on here, make sure it's on TXT. You go to underscore DMARC.yourdomain.com. So mobilechat.io. Then for this text record value, you can grab one of these. I'm just gonna do this one, the do nothing. But log it, mail to, and then this is where you wanna send the log. So info at mobilechat.io. And you can put in your email address there. Then, then you save the changes. And that's that, that's how to set up DMARC for your inbox. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. 
If you want high paying clients without spending money on paid ads, you might want to watch this. I'm Alex Berman and I've been able to grow a services business by over $1 million in revenue and get to work with billion dollar customers. For instance, you ever built a website for a restaurant? You might get $500. But if you build that same website for a financial services firm, they will pay you $50,000 for the exact same website. And that's what this presentation is all about. So click the link below, enter your details and check out my presentation. It's already helped hundreds of business owners and even complete beginners. So again, make sure you click the link below and let me help you get started. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content. Subscribe for more videos like this. If you want more in-depth screen sharing tutorials, I also recommend jumping into our course email10k.com because it goes through exactly how to send cold emails, including very nerdy stuff like this. So check that out if you haven't already. Subscribe for more content like this. We do videos three times a week all about sales, motivation, tutorials, tool reviews, et cetera. So be sure to stick around, watch our past videos, et cetera. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.